A small step in the long journey to bring two astronauts home, nine months after they departed on what was supposed to be an eight-day mission. Main engine cutoff. SpaceX Dragon, welcome. Station operation confirmed. Once in orbit, the Dragon capsule transporting the replacement crew separated from its rocket. Great call-outs and incredible views there on your left hand. There's that landing burn. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down on landing zone one. A booster returning to Earth with a textbook landing to the team's relief. Testing zero gravity, the crew seemed thrilled to be space-bound. They're en route to check in to the ISS, so astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams can finally check out. The pair docked at the International Space Station last June, but fuel leaks and propulsion issues with their Boeing Starliner spacecraft thwarted their return. We love you and we're coming up to get you, and you shouldn't have been up there so long. Donald Trump ignored the technical issues reported by NASA, instead accusing President Biden of abandoning the crew for months. But they've been making the most of their extended time up there. Good views coming in of NASA astronaut Sunny Williams on the robotic arm. With nine spacewalks, Ms. Williams sets a new female record, and they've been working hard on vital research. They've been working on on growing algae in space so we can uh, see how we can uh, get rid of the CO2 that we breathe out and therefore we can sustain longer life in space. And also they've been doing biomanufacturing uh, of yeast and bacteria so that we can produce more things up uh, in space and therefore don't have to take as much cargo up there and therefore making it cheaper to have sustained life in space. NASA wants an overlap between the two crews. Butch and Sonny should then be on course to undock next week before splashing down off the Florida coast, home at very long last. Rachel Venables, Sky News.